Okay. Yes, yes! Uh, yeah, that was a shadow person. The shadow gu the, that was a shadow person. Okay, you believe me now? Hey, fella. Recently, I was invited to a role-playing server, and funny enough, they were holding an event where they promised free teleports, snacks, and refreshments. Jesus! They did not promise I would keep my arm. Of course, I'm not a rude guy. I accepted the invitation. Plus, I'm a sucker for oatmeal cream pies. So, naturally, I showed up, both arms intact, for now, anyway. I wasn't given much information leading up to the event, aside from it involving a storm, ailments were most likely, and it was going to be scary. But understandably, I am alone and terrified. So I drafted up my character sheet, gave Matt a goal, waited around in some abandoned houses, and... Welcome, survivors of Knox County. On the eve of the greatest storm to hit these lands, you are tested by our organization. We seek only the brightest and the wisest out of all of you. That is why tonight, as you stand strong and turn this building into a bastion against the dead, you must also search for three anomalies in the area. Find them and identify them. When the sun rises and the dead calm, we will return. And those who have succeeded will be allowed to communicate with us further. But those who fail, they will be eliminated, just like the cursed. He's forgetting his leash. Really quick, if you guys join this RP server's Discord, you'll be helping out the channel tremendously. More on that later, back to it. And we're off. This was new waters for me. I'm not much of an RP guy, especially not verbally. Sneeze. I'm RPing. I play D&D, sure, but that's only with close friends and not total strangers. And more often than not lately, I'm the DM. However, I took a liking to one other survivor and we had a decent rapport. I'm still wondering what you meant by shadow person. Well, okay, so imagine a person. Okay. Shadow. Like Sonic? No, 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 he's hot. Um, a person. Wait, what? I hope he survives this ordeal. Three things are necessary for surviving this night. First item on that list was gathering materials. We were made aware of a shed housing plentiful supplies to the south of our involuntary shelter. And boy howdy supplies there were. I'm talking screwdrivers, a saw, hammers, so many logs. I wasn't a ton of help, actually, because I came in fresh, I couldn't, I couldn't carry much, so I grabbed some tools, just shoved a saw right in my pocket, and that's all. I'm pretty sure everyone else had those tools already, but I felt helpful and that's what counts. Second item on the list is defense. Now look, I'm a chef, not a carpenter, but I did my best. I grabbed a couple planks at a time and just got some windows barricaded. I'd like to barricade from the outside, I think. They barricade. See, they're smart. I'm gonna go in the window. I'm gonna go in the window. I'm gonna, yeah, they're, they're smarter than me. Much smarter than me. Again, I'm a chef, not a brain man. I don't know why we're assuming things all of a sudden. My next task was to get a sheet rope from the second floor to ground level in case we needed a quick escape. I was sure this would be of utmost importance and I felt like my contributions were really starting to pile up. No, our, ro our sheet rope is gone. The rest of the team was busy moving furniture to block off doors and create choke points. We get it, you played XCOM, congrats bro, want a kiss? Third and last item on the list was food. Nobody goes without a home-cooked meal in this chef's kitchen. I had a bag full of canned goods, several bowls, and I know the importance of a full stomach in surviving the red storms. Mom, I'm scared. So I got to work cooking up the best three-star vegetable salads my mamma used to make. I'm not a vegan by any means, but I did not see meat lying around here, just the devil's lettuce, and I wasn't gonna put that in the food, are you nuts? As I was slicing and dicing these veggies, I... <sighs> okay, well, let me let me tell you something. I get annoyed very easily when I'm interrupted. I have problems remembering what I was doing and it's hard for me to get back into the groove. So imagine my disdain when I heard. Naturally, this wasn't great and the food chain hadn't been established yet. So I did not know who to listen to when I asked where the food should go. Either way, I felt like we had enough food for the time being. I was wrong. After we felt a fleeting sense of safety inside, a small group of us decided to go outside and brave the storm in search of the anomalies. Our vision was severely limited by the storm. The wind was freezing me to the bone, and my group and I agreed we were in dire straits. Yeah, yeah, I would agree with you on that part. Uh, if I were an anomaly, I'd be here. It didn't help that, instead of going in with melee weapons and keeping it quiet, these boys decided to go loud and proud. I'm not against that by any means, but the zombies surrounding us might be. They're probably not looking to help us out with our predicament. If you're being faced with a storm like this, at this time of year, in an apocalypse like this, in this part of the country, localized entirely within Knox County, let me tell you two things. One, do not leave your group ever, especially after being overrun in a maze. Two, I left my group. Or, well, I think they left me. I can't really tell in this situation, but I heard gunshots and followed those noises. Frankly, I wish I hadn't because I saw it. Oh, I don't like hearing a crunch. Did you catch that? 
Let's play that again in slow motion. Zoom. Enhance. Night vision. Got him. That is not a man. Why can't I target? That was not a friend. Yeah, what I said. Okay! So, I, understandably, I am alone and terrified, and I can't run for long. Okay, so... As you can guess, I don't like what I just saw. This terrified me. Did I mention I don't like what I just saw? I was alone, exhausted, cold, and okay, that's not true. I wasn't entirely alone. I could not see the shadow man, but I knew he was lurking around just out of sight. I could not stop moving. I'd be the next victim if I stopped to rest. So I pressed on, I kept walking. Plenty of zombies were trailing me to keep me motivated. Worse than that though, I knew there were sprinters just out of my sight, and I didn't feel like falling prey to a track star zombie. Luckily I found the house and a few surviving members of my team. Unluckily I had to explain the shadow man to them. I saw somebody die. Wait, 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 um, yeah there was shadow people. I'm sorry, what? There was a shadow person. All I could see was like a mouth and I, it was, it freaked me out. I, I, I yelled a little bit. Um, I just saw him keep stabbing the guy until he died. I couldn't target the shadow person. You're telling me a shadow person came over there. You stabbed the guy to death with the artifact? I don't know about looting or taking the artifact. I know I saw him stab the guy to death. I'm hearing voices. Strangely enough, after alerting my group to the mysterious threat, one of them just dropped dead. Oh, why'd that guy die? No shame, I'm taking his backpack. You snooze, you lose, buddy. So oh my, hello. I am gonna let this play out so you can see just how screwed we are. Okay, this is good, this is good. This is not good. I'm hearing too many crunches to be comfortable. What's, what's going on, guys? I don't feel sane. Is this what you call not bad? We should get inside. You good? Yes, I was able to target you. I'm pretty sure you just fucking smacked that person. Yeah, I, I, I've seen shadow people! Of course I smacked them, I was able to target them! Okay, look, I've seen shadow people. I think I'm a little, I, I, I'm on edge, I'm sorry. But... You're on edge! Time. I came here for fucking shelter, and I randomly walked into a fucking shadow cult. That's that's that- The black guy that stabbed me outside? That yes, that yes! Okay. Yeah, the shadow guy, the, that was a shadow person. Okay, you believe me now? All right, uh, uh, kill circle? I think we should make a kill circle. We can't hit them. I, I tried when he was hit, stabbing the other guy. I don't, I don't think let's get upstairs. Let's get upstairs. Uh, okay, that was Jesus. Not the fire. Oh, okay, so. Keep an eye on. Second thought, well, maybe we should just get upstairs. I would keep an eye on it, but I'm upstairs, upstairs, upstairs. Yeah, it's not looking great for our group, now is it? We're evicted from our comfy bottom floor to our less comfy and far less protected second floor. We're running low on supplies, we're suffering damages, and our morale is low. But the tides are turning. We're starting to see a small glimmer of hope on the horizon. It's midnight, and that means the sun is coming up soon. The night is almost over. We've almost won. Allegedly, we found all three anomalies. Our current objective, survive. We are not off to a great start. Friends are dropping left and right with seemingly no cause, and instead of reanimating into the dead, they just lay there, spasming, and taking down more of our ragtag band of survivors. One almost got me. Though I couldn't see my adversary, I suffered a sharp blow to the head and felt blood rush down my face. I scrambled back to the safety of our barricade, and in a desperate attempt to stay alive, I quickly fastened a ripped sheet around my wound. The bleeding was taken care of, but my vision wasn't steady yet. I swear I saw another shadow make its way up the stairs, taking out another survivor. But I could, could be sh sh couldn't be sure anymore. All I know is they're getting more aggressive as our number numbers our numbers dwindle, and ammo runs dry. Our makeshift barricades only do so much to keep them out. Scratch that. Our barricades did nothing to keep them out. And before I could finish wrapping the bandage around my head, he was standing over a fallen ally whose body we already picked clean to aid in our attempts at surviving this nightmare. I didn't have time to process the chilling fact that we can't hurt him. We couldn't even touch him. Before I had the thought, my vision went black. I heard a horrible squelching noise, but didn't process it had come from my own body. I come to after a rush of adrenaline and realize my left arm is gone. Thankfully I'm not a southpaw, so nothing of value is lost. Yes, I realize having a solid paragraph or two of straight up horror doesn't clash well with jokes, but do you know who you're talking to? Hello? What? I, uh, I'm a chef. I'm a, I'm a really good chef. Now I'm confined to only using one-handed weapons and my swing speed is horribly slow. Combat is not much of an option anymore, but I do the best I can. 
It doesn't help that a naked man came running around stabbing us and screaming at the top of his lungs, but I cracked him a good one with my hammer. It was getting colder and colder as the sun took its sweet time coming up, so we tried to get a fire started with very little success. But I had been trained for this in my wilderness streams. We had a near infinite source of fuel, the zombies clothing. I got the fire set and added enough fuel to last us the rest of the night and then some. The one small comfort we had and we didn't even get to enjoy it for very long. Before we had our sense of calm stripped away from us, we gathered around this campfire and took what little breather we were allowed. We shared our names and discussed the trauma of recent events. As the fire roared, we caught a radio broadcast. Conveniently, it was cutting out, so we only got half the message. The storm is clear. Hey, guys, the storm is clearing. Allegedly. I mean, it could he could also have said the storm is cleaning. I mean, yeah, the storm is cleaning. It seemed positive overall, but they told us to stay put. I didn't hear that part. And frankly, the sound of a car horn was like the seven trumpets to me. I gotta go. I gotta go. We all gotta go. What the fuck are you talking about? Admittedly, I wasn't clear on directions, and no one was really appointed the leader of the group, so I took it upon myself to commandeer the vehicle, told the person holding the anomalies to get, get in, in, and drove off. Now, I don't know where we are, and I don't know how to get out of here, but that didn't necessarily matter because we got gunned down for confidential reasons, which is a horrible misnomer to tell you the truth, because we did not get gunned down. Only I did. Stream sniping is real, I'm just saying. Yes, it is rather sad that I died at the very end. Frankly, I thought I was doing everything right. My only goal was to get out of there with the anomalies, but the powers that be had other plans. If you ask me, and for the record this stays between us, I think the powers that be and the shadow men are working together, but that is a mystery for another day. In the meantime, if you want to help me find out who the shadow men really are and help me build my compound, please hop on this server and join me in discovering the truth. At time of writing, they're wiping the server and starting fresh. It is a prime chance to weave your story into the deep lore this server's community builds together. The link is at the top of the description. Just joining will help me out tremendously, and hopefully I'll see you there. I want to thank Peace for offering me this opportunity and affiliating with the channel. If you join their Discord server, you'll be directly helping me out as well. I also want to thank my viewers for making this possible. If you guys didn't watch my goofy content, I wouldn't have been given the chance to make this video. So thank you so much. And last but not least, a big thank you to my patrons, TC Chop, Arian, and Liam. Thank you for your support. You guys are legends.